Hello and welcome back to another edition of Arbitration Studios. I'm J.P. Arbiter. Hi, Mrs. Arbiter. And we are continuing our unfortunate journey across the whole damn thing about last. Last time, we, uh... Got out of the, got out of the asylum. And in, into the shit pipes. And you apparently have to... Drain the water to get to a lower junction. I'm guessing. So you're going to the sub sewer. Yay. And we're gonna be husbanding oh. our batteries a little bit more. Cause they are hard to come by. We only have three after the one that I uh, have, which is on, what would you say, 25% power? Yeah, thereabouts. Is gone, so. We got the gamma cranked up, though, for, uh, for your viewing pleasure more than uh, for our ability to see, so. Because who wants to play a game where it's or watch a game where it's dark all the time? Yeah. Some people are cool with it. Personally, not me. Not at all. All right, buddy. We are going to be cool. And when I say we're going to be cool, that means no chasey. No chasey McChaserson. All right. Can't use that tunnel to hide. Again, pardon my throat sinus infection. Ah, found one drain. And... Whew. We are... Three. Prison drain done. I love how you have to go up to go down, then go down to go up. Hmm. It's basically what you just did. Uh oh. All right. He wants to play this game. Jesus, son. No sense of subtlety with him. None with any of them. All right. This is a moment where you really want to hope and pray you don't trip. Shit. And he rips our arm off again. Or no, that was that was our torso. How did That was he he removed our torso. I have a feeling this is scripted. So do I. This... 
is becoming interesting. All right. <coughs> well, that's the only point he can't follow you at. It pretty much. Seems. Um. So there are I know that if I was faster and didn't make a literal wrong turn, I could have crawled through that pipe. But this was the easy bet. Sometimes you gotta go easy way. And if it's a temporary fix. Yep. It's still a fix. You know? Mm-hmm. There's a cardboard box when you need one. <laughs> Snake! Otacon. I still remember somebody who used to do the snake in a snake <coughs> in his box <coughs> for several years in a row at Gen Con. He wasn't there this year. I was kind of sad. <laughs> Alright. was just kind of sad that I'm just sitting there thinking... Oh shit, oh shit. Well, well, this is your hidey hole. Yep, this was the exact hidey hole I was, I was mentioning earlier. All right. You're gonna jump over those and go around the corner. No, you're gonna jump over the uh, motherfucker. Can't Jedi mind trick this one. Apparently I can't. Just because you're a lunatic doesn't mean you're weak-minded. I think it was holding my breath there for a minute. Not sure if I was or not. Game likes to take the creep factor to ten. That's for sure. It most certainly does. Boom! Wall crack. I will be safe in the crack. Unless he can blow down boulders. That was creepy as heck. Go back in the hole. You're safe in the hole. Hopefully when he's walking right by and not looking at the eye le looking at you at eye level. Off with you. Keep on walking. Those chains were meant for walking, and that's just what you'll do. One of these days, those chains are gonna walk all over you. <laughs> I'm going for it. Do it. All right. Boy. <coughs> that. I mean. Unless he is just so wide he can't fit in this pipe, there's nothing really to prevent him from following. Which, I gotta be honest, I don't want to think about. I really don't want to think about it. I am inclined to agree with you. I'm not sure I want to think about it either. Ever. At all. Shit, okay. A lot of people had the same idea I did. Or the same idea the priest did. Because really, I'm just following Father O'Hanrahan. I don't know if that's actually his name, but I'm calling him Father O'Hanrahan. Father O. 
Do you think a robo brain would appre- Oh, she ate that name. I'm, uh... Are you back in the prison? Do I really want to continue this? No, but it doesn't look like you get a choice. It totally doesn't. Door. There's humming. The I can tell we're the same. You still know what's real. The doctor's dead. You know, right? Doctor died before he even started working here. What kind of experiments does a dead doctor perform on living patients? That's the question. Right. Again, with this, what kind of experiments do the dead perform on the living? Crap. I mean, just... It is um, becoming a little tiring. If this is draining blood, I don't want any part of it, you were going to say. Ugh, I'm going to have to crawl on this shit. Ew, 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 ew. Well, yeah. Now I know how Lance Hendrickson feels. In aliens? Oh, oh, right. I remember now. Dead end. <coughs> Alrighty. You know, you could have avoided all this if you just hopped out the window and jumped down. Really? Assuming it would have been safe. That would have been the easy answer. At that point, I probably would have taken the risk, too. Yeah. Heck with this, I'm out. Well, only one way to go. In this crazy haunted house. Crazy place. <laughs> Not even sure House of Horrors quite describes it. That one mansion in Fallout has nothing on this. <laughs> the one in Nuka World? Yeah. Yeah, but that's a tchotchke little, uh, um, tourist trap. Oh, I know. It's literally, hey, Nuka World's right there. Let's see if we can leech some ticket sales. <coughs> I know. Does remind me of a does remind me of a story I see I see about every now and then. Mm. The Win the actual Winchester house. The wife of the of the gun maker was scared as hell that she was and was determined that she was haunted that she was that the she was that the family was going to be haunted by everyone who was killed by said Winchester by said rifle and she kept on building on the house until she died yeah. ending up with like Oh god, like 150 rooms or something. And she kept on building. Just making additions and remodeling and whatnot? Making additions, extending it. Alright. Oh, this is like a big wide area. Nothing to do there. 
and frumpy trombone big boys sound is playing. Whoa. Some sumo guy and the ladder's right behind him. Of course. Gotcha! Ha <laughs> ha! Eat that, you fat, frumpy motherfucker! That's right! That's right! What are you looking at? You got nothing! <coughs> and just to make sure... Sorry, dude. Hopefully he doesn't wander back in there, but... The f you know, I already knew the inmates were crazy, but the f damn. But that one wants to beat the shit out of me. With a baseball bat. What was Frumpy Boy your boyfriend or something? Pitcher catcher. Just saying. Oh, Ren and Stimpy taught, taught us the worst things in the world. Yeah, but that was during Ren and Stimpy's MTV years. I know. Oh. oh. More of this? Back down here. <coughs> I mean, I'm keeping the camera up because I don't want to miss anything. All right. Guy in a straitjacket wants to run away from me. Be my guest. Wonder if he's guiding, if he's meant to act as your guide, so to speak, on how to get out of that. At the same time, it's hard to say. Crack in the wall. I am safe in the crack. I am one with the crack. The crack is even my friend. <laughs> That's a lot of bodies. That is a lot of bodies. How many people were here? Up. Loading, loading, loading. That is a very legitimate question. Because clearly, it's not an easy answer. And I think it is an answer to a question we will find out next time as we continue our journey across Outlast. <laughs>